world. Okay, so I, I started this project and I'm not really sure how it's gonna go. I started looking at it last night and then I was like, hey, I should film this. So that's what I'm doing. So I have all this random scrap fabric that I found at a thrift store. So I have this satin, I think it was like, probably from like a wedding dress or something like that, like somebody was sewing, I don't know. Like, and they had like, I think they said three meters left over of it. So that's what we're working with with that. I have this chunk of fabric, some tool. That's really, really pretty. Um, but it's super thin, obviously. So I was thinking this could be a really pretty like coating for it. Coating, that's weird. Like a covering, I don't know. So this is the fabric I'm working with. I have a couple of de designs in my head what I'm gonna do um, and then just follow me along as we try to make like this wedding prom fancy dress out of scrap fabric from the thrift store. So I've spent the last like 15 minutes trying to iron this. I don't really think you're supposed to iron satin but I don't know how else to do this. I might, this might work. Hmm. Okay. So if I have two pieces, and then I have the front piece, and I cinch it all, yes, okay. All right, so I just went to the store. I'm just on my break for work. And I found tulle because I couldn't, I got a little bit of tulle when I went to the thrift store, but I couldn't find any. So I'm kind of cheating a little bit, but I got three meters and it was like $16. So, um, so far I've put $16 into this dress. So we'll see how it turns out. Hello, I'm so tired and train today but I decided I was gonna work on my dress. I pleated the center just because I kind of messed up on like the measuring because I don't really measure. So there are three layers to this. There's satin and there's a sheet and then this shimmery stuff.
This has been quite the adventure making this dress so far. Um, I always feel like in projects I end up biting off more than I can chew. And sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, so we'll see how this is going. Um, so this is what it is. I have so much tool inside of this, um, and I also have to fix the seam a little bit on it. But, oh, it just sticks to your feet and everything. So, I made it way too long, um, on purpose, but if I just, let's see, it would be like this, way too big. Anyways, so this is what we got so far, but it makes me look so fat. So we don't really like that. Um, I don't know. Okay, this is stressing me out. I need to add more poof to this bottom part, but somehow while I'm doing it, it's just, oh, it's just a mess. And I don't know how to fix it, and I feel a little bit stressed out, but that's okay. So I'm gonna leave that for a bit and go work on my top because that's less stressful. I just poked my finger, and it's like bleeding. Ugh. And then I got it on my dress, so hopefully I can wash that out. I don't know if it's really noticeable anymore. I tried to rub it off, but we'll see. Ugh. 200 yards! 100 yards! Just around the bend! So after I have sewn a bunch of this, I feel like it just looks weird because it's too poofy at the top. So I'm gonna take it all apart. Um, well, not all, but I'm gonna take the tool out, even though I hate sewing this stuff, and I'm gonna put it further down, and then that way it will hopefully poof out more there. It's not like I've spent enough time on this. I think I've probably spent already three weeks um, working on this, like little bits here and there, like an hour or two in the evenings, so. We are getting there. <laughs> I don't know why I always start off saying okay, so, but anyways, I have been working on this for a long time now. Um, I took a couple of days off because I was tired. And I'm still kind of tired, but that's okay. So I have this, I messed up a couple times on some stuff. Um, so I have this center thing that I'm gonna use and I have it slit like that. So it'd be like a skirt within the dress that the tool is sewn to. And then I found these at Walmart, two different zippers. I've never really sewn on a zipper. Um, this one's like a cream, and then this one's... They don't quite match, though. Oh, I just cracked my back doing that. Okay, like... Do you see that? Oh, that's quite a difference. Okay, and then I have this one. So I think I'll use this one. Then while I was also there, on the side note, I found this thing. So I'm gonna open it up. I figured it might be kind of cool. It's supposed to be a ring light, so... Wow, it's thirty dollars. Has a little tripod. It's a nice little ring, super small, but that's kind of what I was expecting it to be. Okay, I'm gonna test it out here in a second. Okay, so this thing like extends super long, so that's kind of cool. Oh wow. Cool. Look at that. Changes. Okay, that's kind of cool. 
but it goes super bright. So if I had you guys in front of it, that's way brighter, right, than that. Better lighting, I think, I don't know. I'm excited, yay. <laughs> I've come a decently long way on this. I've sewn on the top part here, and now I have a bobby pin here because I'm just stitching it down um, by hand because I feel like that was easier than trying to do it with my sewing machine. So I'm just pulling this down and stitching it all. So I have this much of an overlay um, where I pinned it, and so I think I can fold it down and then have zipper right through here and then just be able to pin it like across like that. That is my hope that that will hopefully work. So that's what I'm, where I'm at with the skirt portion. The top I have stopped to take apart the one the back of it because I want to do a crisscross back I decided instead um, and then I just got to do a bunch of beading on it but besides that we're getting closer to being done. <laughs>